Greetings YouTube, today I'm going to review a classic knife. This is a Gerber Legendary Blades Mark II, item number uh, 5001. And I've had this in my collection for a very long time. And if you were to ask me what a, you know, a Vietnam era knife looks like, to my mind, this is what pops into my head. Um, here we have the knife in its sheath. It has a rawhide lanyard here for strapping it down to your leg. Um, it has a belt loop, and it has a clip for hooking onto a U.S. military um, belt. The, the uh, sheath is um, it's adequate. It isn't with the best quality sheath I've ever seen in the world, but it does its job. It uses a very authoritative snap. This is back before um, Velcro had become ubiquitous. Let's move that out of my way. And here we have the knife itself. This is just a beautiful design. And it's got uh, the Gerber logo in there. Um, Portland, Oregon, USA. Gerber on that side. And it's got um, B01395 on the other. Double-edged serrations on both sides here, um, but there is no way, shape, or form that this knife is anything other than a combat blade. This is designed for killing plain and simple. It has a cast aluminum handle. This thing is going nowhere. It has a lanyard hold. You might get some paracord through there. I'm not 100% sure if that's big enough. You give it a little, a little English on it, maybe uh, just use a piece of paracord that has had the uh, fibers taken out. Um, and it just, you hold it in your hand, and it just feels dangerous. There is, there is no other way to say that. This thing is just, it's a lethal tool, plain and simple. And it's very, to me, reminiscent of the era it was designed in. Um, I'm not even sure if this is still available uh, or not. I got this back in the 80s, I think it was. I think back in 80 or 81. I've had it in my collection for quite a while. Um, the serrations on here, I'm not sure what they were ever really meant to cut through. I guess potentially paracord or something. But they're they're very, very reminiscent of steak knives. Um, the very early serrations. These are not the more advanced serration designs that you, we find here in the in the 20th or even in the late 20th, uh, 21st, or in the late 20th century. Um, these are very rudimentary designs on, uh, on serration. But it is a beautiful blade design. It is a nice balance to it. It has a nice weight. It has a nice feel in the hand. And of course, it is just flat out one of the most dangerous knives I've ever held.